uh, three fights so far. Yep. Please, we're winning them all. Yep. Um, I had three. My first one, when I was 18, I boxed a job against Betty Moyer. I won every round, but it was, it was a different step going to amateur to pro. It was more settling. So we got my stance more, settled down. I had a good win there. I think I won every round. I boxed at um, Yolk Gold two months later against <laughs> Julius Raphael. And uh, it was a good fight, but I tried hard with it. So I moved over to Satch from a second fight. I think we set up his hand. And uh, I learned, learned loads more in the gym now for movement. But I'd get different angles from my shots. And I stopped him in the third round by a TKO. Then I boxed in November the 18th against Andrew Patterson. He was, it was a tough bloke from Birmingham. But I won every round against him. But it was a good fight. It was a hard fight. Good learning fight, that one. I was going to ask you, which fight have you learned most from? Most probably my last one. It was the sixth round. It was a, it was a tough opponent. I hit, ended the fourth round in with a big shot, wobbled him, and I hit him with three more, and he just went barging. So it, it was like, tough, I knew I couldn't get him out of there, so we kept the game plan, boxing him in and out. As he threw shots, so I was out, out of the way, I'm moving around and boxing around him. But, so tell us about your next fight. Uh, my next fight, I'm fighting Danny Dotovic from Bulgaria. Uh, me and Tetsch have been working on a game plan for him, he's, just, he's like, smaller than I. Just learning to, to box him more in and out, as he throws the shots, I'm out. I try and count off the shots a bit more of him. That fight, that's fight back at your corner. That's then. at your corner, oh yeah, and I'm fighting a major AA for Civic Hall in Groves. That's going to be good, being yeah. actually in Thorough, that's going to be fantastic. Yeah, yeah. It'd be nice to go on, on, on my own turf a bit more, do you know what I mean? Get more fans there. Yeah. Good. You have a lot of fans, you get all, all come to Bethel Green to see yeah. you. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? They're all looking for a knockout and sometimes you can get carried away. Yeah, it's good. Like, the people from where I come from, I love boxing. My like, cousin Steve McCarthy sells tickets, Malcolm Mickey McCarthy, and like, Jamie Mellett, Nicky Mack, they all sell tickets for me. So like, it ain't just me saying tickets, I have other people doing for me as well, take me stress off it. And uh, obviously I get a really big group there. And, when they're all singing, it gives you just like, you think, like, you feel, you know, just calm your nerves and just pick the punches. And, like, just don't, don't look for it, let it come. And it, 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 you find it comes more if you let it come. But you've probably got a lot to learn. What is it you say you may have most? I mean, this might be a question for Sachs, but what do you reckon you've got most to learn? Uh, I think I can work my defence. We've been working on my defence a bit more in the gym. Uh, Wayne's a good defensive, uh, defensive boxer, so I've been working with him a bit more defence, trying to learn a bit more defence for myself. But, uh, yeah, the biggest one, I'll go in and out and in that keep it long. I get inside, but it's just need to tuck up a bit more, work on them defence shots, and it'll be there. But you're really, you're really enjoying your boxing yeah, and looking yeah. forward to the next fight. Yeah, I've trained me, I'm training three times a day in the minute from the fight. I've got uh, two weeks and five days I think I've got left. The last week I'll, I'll slow down a bit more, but uh, and I'm working as well, so it's hard. You don't get a lot of sleep, but it's not even the game, it's boxing, it's hard to ball in it. Brilliant.